from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you like what you'll see and you'll hit that red subscribe button. This is a grocery haul, meal plan, and question of the day. I'm getting to where I'm doing these sporadically. I think y'all are probably tired of seeing my groceries. Sometimes I just don't feel like recording them, but I did go to Kroger for a couple things and I went to Walmart to pick up some a few non-food items and I did get a few other things. Not a real big grocery haul, but it is very hot here today. So I'm gonna start off real quick. Rather than laying everything out on my bar like I usually do, I'm gonna hold, hold up and show y'all a couple of cold things and then go put them up and then we'll get back to the grocery haul, the meal plan, and the question of the day. Thanks for stopping by. First thing from Walmart is some Blue Bunny. I had a dollar Ibotta coupon on these. These are some Blue Bunny mini cones. We are eating altogether too much ice cream this summer, but it's hot. Some milk from Walmart. The orange juice that I like from Kroger. And two bags of, they're probably upside down, french fries for the air fryer. I'm gonna put these cold things up and I'll be back. This is a mix from Kroger and Walmart. Got some red grapes from Walmart. I'll talk with prices below. I've decided I don't like paying the price Kroger wants for eggs, so I'm starting to go to Walmart. They were 78 cents a dozen, now they're a dollar, but these are $1.59 at Kroger, so I got some eggs at Walmart, some green beans, and I'm gonna try to go to my little farmer's market here in the next couple days. Got a couple of other places to go, but they're not gonna make this video. I got a couple of Vidalia sweet onions at Kroger. I got some mushrooms at Walmart. And one of the main reasons besides my orange juice that I went to Kroger is they had a big two pound pack of strawberries on sale this week at my Kroger for $2.88. I got some loose green leaf lettuce at my Kroger. I think it's $1.79 a pound and I think that's way too high. Tim has decided he likes this delightful wheat bread, 45 calories a slice. I got that at Walmart. A couple of canned goods, some tomato sauce, two things of red gold, tomato products. I was completely out of a cake mix. I don't need to put it in my pantry, but I never know when I might want to make a cake or cupcakes or something. Some gallon Ziplocs from Walmart. And I'm very sad about this one. I got my Cheerios, they were free. If you've been watching here for the last eight or nine months, you'll know we won a nationwide General Mills giveaway. This is my second to last box. I've got one more coupon and it expires next week. But I've had more fun getting free cereal and giving the coupons to friends and family and people, so free, free cereal is over. I do have a couple things from Walmart that's not food related and one other really fun find for me from Kroger and their clearance. Marked down to $2.99 are boxes of 10 Dunkin' Donuts decaf. I have a very hard time finding decaf and to find them marked down to $2.99, they have three boxes. I bought all three. One more food related item. This is the grill spray Tim uses when he grills out. And then I needed to go to Walmart to get a couple of things that were not food related. We needed, of all things, lint rollers. And there's an Abata rebate coupon on this right now. I should get a dollar off of these scotch Bright lint rollers. I needed some Tilex for my tile shower that tends to want to mold. I wanted to try. I've been using Olay facial cleanser for years. I'm gonna try the because it's Cetaphil, we'll try that. And Tim requested two things for his car detailing. Trim Restore and Bug and Tar Remover. Totally not grocery, totally not food. But that is a very small haul, and I've got a few menu ideas and a question for you next. A few menu ideas for the upcoming week. We've got a busy schedule. August is turning out to be a very busy month. We've got another family get together. Tim's got a golf tournament. I've got a couple things lined up for Mexican type meals, maybe some black bean enchiladas or some chicken quesadillas. I've got a pork tenderloin in the freezer that needs to be used. Two different things of risotto. I always have stuff to do crock pot chicken Santa Fe and as much as I love it and talk about it, we actually hadn't had it in a while. Tim eats it over tortilla chips like a chunky nacho and I eat it over brown rice. I haven't gotten to the turkey Salisbury steaks or hamburger steaks yet. And we've got one more Little Caesars pizza kit, breadsticks left. I'm still trying to get those out of my freezer and make room. I've also got some smoked sausage that I'm probably gonna try in the air fryer. Just need to get some little red potatoes from the farmer's market. I've got a baked chicken recipe that I have been trying to get to and it keeps sliding. I've got some buns in the freezer and some opened Caesar salad 
dressing, the cardini, so I can make some crock pot chicken Caesar sandwiches with that. I've still got several things of Trader Joe's Asian items. I'm actually hungry for breakfast food, but Tim is having eggs, um, bacon or sausage, and toast or biscuits almost every morning for his breakfast while I eat my oatmeal and try to be healthy, and he doesn't really want breakfast foods for supper, so if I can get him to skip that one morning, we might have breakfast food, and I've got a lot of things pinned at Pinterest to try, but I picked a couple, a chicken enchilada quinoa dish and a Korean, kind of a fake out Korean beef. So a few menu ideas and things we have going on, and I've got a quick question for you next. Today's question is spontaneous for me. I actually had another question lined up, but since I went to Kroger and found this really good deal on the K-Cups, um, I thought I would switch it up and ask about coffee. Feel free to answer any of a whole long laundry list of coffee related questions as in do you drink coffee are you the only one at your house does everybody drink it do you have a particular brand or flavor do you use a Keurig do you use just a regular coffee maker do you use a French press do you only drink it when it's cold outside do you drink it every day do you drink one cup multiple cups answer anything you want to talk about our answers would probably be Tim is the coffee drinker in the house he comes from a long line of coffee drinkers and he drinks a lot of coffee every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I didn't learn to drink coffee until I was very old and I still only drink a couple of cups a week. I only drink decaf for health issues, so the decaf is for me. Tim has switched, Tim has been switched involuntarily on his part. I've switched him to decaf later in the day because I think he sleeps better. He, he would disagree. He'll say he can drink a cup of coffee and fall asleep, but I think he sleeps better if he drinks decaf in the evenings. He drinks coffee all day long. I have one or two cups a week. He is not brand specific, but he does like a good uh, medium to dark roast, and he likes a Guatemalan or some kind of bean like that. So leave us a comment with your answer to this week's question. Anything you want to talk about coffee, if you don't drink it, come back next week. We'll have a new question. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope y'all have a wonderful and truly blessed day. We'll see you in the next video.